Hey guys, what is up? It's Tori Lee and welcome back to my channel. I am so happy to do this video for you guys because honestly, I've been trying to do it for the past week and reality has hit. I am now a mother of two and so things are not really going my way or I guess you'd say are really sticking with my crazy schedule that I made for myself. So um, I am almost three weeks postpartum now. So I finally have established a routine for my toddler and my newborn. And I figured, well, he's sleeping and she's at daycare. So now it is the perfect time for me to get this video out for you guys. So just to kind of um, fill you guys in from where we left off last. Yes, my son is here. He was born on October 30th at 8.35 a.m. And he is doing so good. So quick update, we have gone to two um, doctor's appointments. He's already passed his birth weight. We went three days ago and he was 8'6", so he's doing really well. Um, he is still nursing, still latching. That's going great except for the fact that he is a snacker. So that basically means that instead of eating until he gets full and then sleeping for a few hours and then waking up again and eating, he just knows that I'm here. And so he's taking advantage of that. So he'll nurse for a little bit until he falls asleep. And then he'll wake up screaming like 30 minutes later, nurse a little bit more until he goes to sleep. And he's pretty much been doing that for the past week. And so I've been trying different things like getting him uncomfortable and and what I mean by that is just kind of undressing him because um, he's just so warm and bundled up and comfortable. He falls asleep when he's nursing. So I've been trying to take off his blanket, kind of like unzip his onesie, loosen up his diaper, do different things to like keep him up so that he can nurse until he's full and then go to sleep so that I can get some sleep too. So yeah, that's kind of an update with him. Also, um, from my labor and delivery. Okay, so... I'm not gonna get emotional. So I wanted, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be quick and just put it out there and then never talking about it again. I wanted to go natural as a no epidural so freaking bad. Like I don't even think you guys understand how bad I wanted to. But given the fact that I went into labor at like midnight, that's when my um, contraction started, and I did not give birth until 8:30 the next morning, I was miserable. Like I was like stuck at, I think it was seven centimeters for like two and a half hours or something. And it was so miserable. So then I was just like, oh my gosh, just because my water didn't break and everything was just moving so slow. Okay, stop excuses. I wasn't strong enough to go without an epidural, okay? So I got an epidural. And when I got it, I didn't get like a high dose of it. So I could still feel everything, which was great because that's why I only had to push two times, guys. Literally two times. And he came out and I felt so strong. So basically there was a mirror above me when I was giving birth. And I just remember looking up and like, oh, we see his head, we see his head push. And I literally used all my strength, bared down and pushed this sucker out like, it sounds so weird, but I was just in complete control. And that's what my goal was with wanting to go natural. I wanted to be in control. I wanted to be up. I wanted to walk around. I wanted to do this. And I got to do all that. So when I got the epidural, I literally had him like 45 minutes to an hour later. I think it was pretty quick. So I wasn't really doing much laboring on the bed because I could still feel my legs. It was like the, it was the weirdest experience ever because when I got the epidural with my daughter, I could not feel anything. I could not stand up. I could not walk anywhere. Like everything was numb. And with him, I still had complete control. Like I was able to push. I, and I think being able to see him and see my progress is what made it happen so quick because I, like again, again, I was in complete control. And so I was very, hard on myself a little bit beating myself up a little bit at first because I really did not want to get the epidural but after I got it and got you know the lower dosage and I was still able to feel everything and I think he's getting ready to wake up but um and still felt empowered and in control and after everything happened the way it did I I'm okay with it like it took me like the first week I was just like oh my gosh Tori people go natural all the time like you suck like why aren't you strong enough to do it and it just it wasn't meant for me um it just wasn't meant for me I after I hit that like two and a half hour mark of no progress I'm like okay like I was so tired I hadn't I had been up run around that 
that whole day. So it's not like I I was going over 24 hours without sleeping and I was just like, you know what, just just get over it. So um, yes, I ended up getting an epidural. Okay, new topic. So this video, I just want to show you guys a few products that has helped me with my recovery and also some necessities that I did not mention or did not think about um, that I would need for a newborn, okay? So let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna start with the stuff that I got from the hospital. First thing is this like little squeezy bottle thing. I know there's a technical term. I will list that in the description. I think there's water in it, it's kinda gross. But yeah, this squeezy bottle, you definitely are gonna need this. I don't know what else to say about it. You need this. Just if you have been, if you've been a mom before, you know that this is like, I wish I need like a halo around this. Yes, you need this. First time moms, you're gonna need it. You'll figure out why you're gonna need it after you give birth, but just make sure you have this in handy. Okay, okay. Next thing is this numbing spray. Got this from the hospital. Also, um, this came in handy with, I mean, you can imagine why. Everything down there is just sore, very uncomfortable. This takes the edge off, okay? Um, it's dermo, dermoplast, dermoplast? Yeah, I'm sure there's other brands too. This is just what the hospital had for me. Next thing you're gonna need is hemorrhoid cream. That's all I'm gonna say about it. Just get it, you need it, I promise you. <laughs> You're going to need it. Um, what else did they give me? Okay, these little, what are these things called? They are witch hazel pads, okay? You're going to need these also. So the next few items I'm going to talk about just have to do mainly with nursing. Um, first thing I have are this these Medela um, pump and save storage bags. I started storing my milk just because I do have to go back to work and I'm still in school. Um, they just look like this and you just connect them um, to the end of your pump and you just store them that way. You can store up to five ounces. Um, also, I have the um, Lashino pads, the nursing pads. I showed you guys this in my other video and I'm also still, um, I'm also still using their nipple cream. Um, I'm not having, I haven't had like any like chafing or like any like breakage or anything um, with my, in, in regards to my nipples this time like I did with Brielle, but just still keeping them moist um, is good so you can avoid any cracking or anything like that and it's helped a lot. Also, I have been doing this um, mother's milk. It's supposed to promote healthy lactation. It's a tea, and I drink this every morning, and it's pretty good. I like to mix it in with my collagen, and I took this throughout my entire pregnancy. This right here is honestly a lifesaver. So basically, it has a lot of health benefits for strong joints, um, muscles, connective tissue, healthy skin, nails, hair. Um, it also helps digestive improvement, bloating, and muscle recovery. So I drank this the whole time I was pregnant with him, and I do think it's helped my my tummy a lot and how the elasticity in my skin. Um, so I drink, um, I do one scoop of this, and then I drink it with my tea, and I've been doing that every morning since I've given birth with him. When I was pregnant, I would just do this, and then I would do... Um, raspberry leaf tea towards the the third trimester because the raspberry leaf tea kind of helps soften the cervix and it will um it kind of helps prepare the body getting re like to get ready for um labor and delivery they don't suggest it taking it like earlier because i think it can like induce a miscarriage um so you definitely want to check with your physician and check on the timing and everything but i was doing that tea with the collagen um before i switched to the lactation tea and um I'm still seeing benefits. This has definitely helped with my milk production, the tea has. So that's what's been going on in the breastfeeding department. Um, in addition to nursing, I have another supplement, just my, my new chapter, the perfect prenatal multivitamin. I took these during my entire pregnancy and I'm still taking them just because it's super important that you continue to take your prenatal vitamins um, if you're nursing so that your baby can get them too. Some little items that have really helped with him are um, Andy ointment. He he did get circumcised so this has came in handy a lot. He also kind of had 
I wouldn't say like a breakout, but it looks, I think he was like sensitive to a certain diaper that brand that I used. So his bum was a little red. So I had to use this on that also. Um, one thing that I did not, that I didn't realize that I forgot about is babies normally are super congested for like the first month or so. I don't know if you guys can hear him back here, but he sounds like a grown man, like how he's snoring. So they suggest... Okay, so like I said, it is common for nor newborns to be pretty congested, like when they first come home. So I've been using this little Remedies um, saline spray slash drops. So when you hold it straight up like this, it sprays up into the nostril. But if you dump it like this, then it's more of a drop. And his physician said that it's easier to do the spray just because they're so little and they're moving their heads and everything. So it's kind of hard to like pinpoint and like drop, you know, it in their nostril. And then in combination with that, I've been using this bulb syringe to kind of like suck the snot out because he's super congested. And another thing to help with his congestion that has really come in handy is this humidifier. And it's a nightlight also. And I can't stress the importance of a nightlight, especially when you're trying to change diapers and different things in the middle of the night. Um, as far as like general tips go, I would really just say that if you are fortunate enough to have some time off, rest. Um, my first week home, I was, I didn't leave my house, but I was just up like doing laundry, unloading the dishes, cleaning my toddler's room, cleaning my room, just kind of up around the house and it definitely delayed my recovery a lot so I'm just now at three weeks to the point where I can walk around all day without getting sore um, I think I could go out to the store and like shop and do um, you know small things like that but the first two weeks were really tough and I think it was because that first week I wasn't giving I didn't give my my body a chance to heal so then I had to take a step back so then week two I literally didn't leave my room slash my bed for like four days straight because I just needed to just relax and let my body do its thing because I was just trying to do it and I don't see it as doing too much but you know as moms we have a lot of responsibilities around the house and I just was really quick to jump back into those things and it did delay my recovery a lot so um my belly band that I showed you guys in my my, um, my what's in my diaper bag video I'll link that one below if you guys haven't seen that one yet I was planning on only using that for like the first couple of days out of the hospital and I ended up having to use it for a week and a half because my core was just not there my strength was not there I had a lot of pressure in my lower abdominal section um, it I just I wasn't stable at all and I really needed that to even get from like my upstairs to my downstairs I needed that extra support um, so that came in handy a lot I would definitely recommend I will also list that below I did get that one from Target um, I'm not wearing it anymore as far as like my core goes um, and like more into like the fitness aspect all I've been doing is like belly pumping pelvic floor exercise and diaphragmatic breathing if you guys are not familiar what any of that stuff is let me know and I will do a separate video that's focused on just like recovering from labor as far as your core is concerned um and healing diathesis recti which is what i had with my first baby i do have it a little bit with him i don't see my physical therapist until next week but from what i can see i don't have a lot of separation this time around or if i just checked it yesterday so if i did it's already like re healing um i didn't see like a big difference like i did with my daughter so i will keep you guys updated on that but i've just been like i said just being very aware of my my core doing deep core activation not doing abs I don't want you guys to get it confused but just paying attention to my breathing so that's pretty much all I've been doing as far as the fitness aspect and then of course just eating extremely healthy um, which is also important because I am nursing so what I'm taking in he's taking in also okay guys so that's pretty much all I have for you I just wanted to do a quick little video check in with you guys and update you guys with what's been going on with my son and I and also just kind of um, 
highlight some products that have been very helpful um, for me and for him during this transition of coming home and getting into a routine and just new life. So it looks, sounds like he's waking up. So I'm going to go ahead and go. Um, but make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and let me know what you guys want to see next. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.